hi all uh, in this video i'll be discussing dashcat 3 do let me know in the comment section how you actually fared in the dashcat what were your scores what you found tough what you found easier to do uh, so in all if you have seen the dashcat 1 and dashcat 2 analysis as well as taken the marks you know that dashcat 1 and dashcat 2 are slightly difficult this was i feel uh, at cat level what i would say that you would expect so if your confidence is slightly shaken by dashcat 1 and dashcat 2 don't worry dashcat 3 is here to boost your confidence back up so i'll be going through all the sections but overall i felt my impression of the mock was that this was a uh, i think at cat level mock this is something that you should do well and uh, essentially the easy parts were what you expect to be easy in uh, cat the difficult parts would be what you expect to be difficult in CAT. So, how you did over here would be kind of indicative of how you would do in actual CAT. A good score would be around 120. Individually, you have to score well uh, in each section because each of the sections I felt was fairly uh, easy moderate level not easy easy but essentially cat level as such so let's start with the quant analysis this uh, error over here this was not a difficult section i would say this is not an easy section but this section is right at the uh, cat difficulty level if you actually had this kind of quant section in your slot your slot marks are going to be graded down because all three slots will not be at this level. So, essentially between slots also there are slightly difficult con sections, slightly easier con sections. So, this would be on the slightly easier side and if this came in CAT, your uh, con scores would be slightly graded down. So, overall it said that there were 4 easy, 11 moderate and 7 hard questions. Generally, when we analyze the uh, attempts of uh, actual cats there are like one two easy uh, eight uh, or nine hard and the remaining moderate but over here four were easy and in fact not four if i actually take a look at all the questions i felt nine were easy but i will uh, discuss what were actually easy but people found harder than they should have so overall i feel this was not a difficult section this was on the easier side this section you should actually be scoring in the 40s 30s to 40s is a good score i would say 35 plus is a good score as such so uh, let us discuss what was easy what was difficult i felt there were several easy arithmetic questions many of them were marked as easy but many of the questions were easy to do in the sense you could solve them easily within like under two minutes i'll tell you one question which was marked as moderate but which was actually fairly easy to do this was a question on simple interest and compound interest and i wondered why it was marked as moderate when it was fairly easy because the quick way or fast way to do it would be to know that the difference between two years compound interest and two years simple interest is pr square and the two years simple interest is 2 pr this ratio will give you r r by 2 will be the ratio of this difference by the uh, two year simple interest your rate uh, rate of interest could be compounded in less than uh, like 30 seconds and once that was there the rest of the uh, uh, like the rest of the question could have been done in under two minutes so i felt that that was an easy question if you knew this concept if you don't know this concept then solving it etc etc would take time but if you know this concept, it would become something that you can solve in under two minutes and that would put it into the easy section as such. There was another question where I could actually do it mentally and it was marked as a moderate question which was about uh, somebody who gets an injury. This was a time and work question. This person gets an injury and somebody has to be added to do his work. Now that question, if I read, you can do it mentally because the work has increased by 10%. Uh, so now instead of 100x, it has become 150x and his uh, ability has gone from like say y to 0.6y so how would you actually make it up in same time so essentially the denominator is now 1.5 times so the numerator has to be 1.5 times part of the numerator has gone down to 0.6 so additional part has to be 0.9 it is fairly easy it can be done mentally it can be explained in a sec uh, like 10 30 seconds so it is a fairly easy question so you should also understand that Okay, if this was an easy question, why did I not solve it? So, a lot of people consider time and work questions by default, they take it more seriously, they feel that okay, this will be a uh, more difficult question. But many questions in arithmetic, I felt were very easily solvable. Now, in geometry, I felt there were two easy questions. Essentially, there were two questions which were direct formula application. So, there was one uh, question which was essentially uh, uh, 
a cosine rule kind of question. Again, over here also it was not an easy question. That was not the easy question as such. This was a medium question. But if you know cosine rule, you can solve that question. If not, it would be a very difficult question to solve. You can't solve that question without the cosine rule. So essentially such kind of questions, if you are able to solve, you can solve them fairly quickly. If not, they become very difficult to solve. So this is your reminder. Please make sure that you actually revise all of your formulae. All of your formulae you should essentially revise so that you can easily apply them. So after cosine rule, you might need the uh, sine formula for area or you might need the Heron's formula for area. So all of these formulas do matter in actually getting uh, your score in actual uh, this as such. Uh, in the earlier dash cat or so, I feel that at one question was direct application of Brahmagupta's formula and all. So in such cases, it is very, very important that you revise your formulae. If you do your formulas properly, you will be able to answer these questions. If not, when the actual quant section is easy, the formulas matter much more because when the con section is difficult, you do not get direct application of formulae. When the con section is on the easier side and you have scored less than like par as such, if you feel that okay, I have not scored as much like as much as 95 percent or something like that, that indicates your hold on the formulas is slightly weaker. You have to think and remember formulas and that is putting you at a disadvantage. So just think that uh, could I have solved this faster if I remembered the formula? If that is the case, please revise the formula as such. The algebra I felt there were two easy questions. There was one uh, moderate question. The good thing about these algebra questions were not only were they easy, they were not time consuming. They could be solved quickly, which meant that you had more time to distribute to like the PNC questions or number system questions. These questions, all the easy questions, I've marked them as easy because of the time they would help you save. They were doable and they were not time consuming. And with that, they become the questions that you essentially do so that you get more time to spend on the other questions. The number system, there was the, the question was difficult and time consuming and you should ideally leave questions like that. Essentially, whenever you see a question which requires you to have a multiple like cases, etc. Like, okay, how many numbers of uh, this, how many cases are there? Those kind of questions you should not solve. I think I solved this in my actual attempt and I remember regretting it because of the amount of time it took actually because of that. So, these are time consuming questions, you should leave them. The PNC questions, the both questions were moderate questions, they were doable questions. Uh, I felt that uh, uh, these kind of questions, again, if you do not do the PNC questions, given that there are so many easy questions would also make sense. The moderate questions, there were two modern maths questions, which are moderate questions, logarithms questions. Essentially, it was difficult to read for some people and there was a questions on functions. The functions questions, I, I felt was an easy question. I marked it as moderate, but it was an easy question because it appears harder than it actually is. If you take a moment, calm down and you try to solve that question, it is a fairly simple question as such. So, all, overall, I felt this was a fairly easy uh, section as such. Some of you might have found it hard, but essentially, this is your reminder to start revising formulae. Because if you knew a lot of formulae, if you knew the basic concepts, you could have done well in this particular section. If not, you would have struggled in this section. So this is your check and a reminder to revise your formulas as such. So let's go to the LRDI analysis. Again, this was a medium difficulty section. I won't say easy section, but it is bordering on easy because there were two easy sets. The chart set was a very easy set. There were two easy questions, slightly two difficult questions also, three difficult questions, but it was a fairly easy set to do. The puzzle set, I feel that a lot of people found it hard. This was about the uh, like the matrix kind of 4 into 4 matrix set. Because it was so long, many people must have thought that this is a very difficult set. Even I left it in my actual attempt, but it was a fairly simple set. You could easily do this under 12 minutes. Uh, maybe because I saw it without the exam pressure, I am feeling that it is an easy set. But I feel that it was a very doable set as such. And not just the first part of the puzzle, the second part of the puzzle was also very easily doable. It was not difficult at all. As compared to most of the arrangement sets, this was a very simple puzzle as such. So I felt because there are two easy uh, sets over here, this would be a high scoring section. This is on the uh, whole a slightly easy LRDI section. The circular arrangement was medium difficulty level. It was exact CAT difficulty. So if you get that, this is the kind of arrangement questions you should expect in CAT. The coins puzzle was, I would say, medium difficulty. See, the issue with coins puzzle is if you know how to actually calculate that you calculate the winning positions and the losing positions and you have a lot of practice doing this, this would be easy. If you do not have a lot of practice doing this, it will take you a lot of time to think over there. Okay, how do I actually solve this? How do I find out? What is the value over here? So this would in that case be very hard. 
but easy also would not be as in that you uh, can easily do it in 5 10 minutes no this would still take you because each question has to be individually solved so still it is not really really easy because it will still consume a lot of time if you don't want to make any mistake as such so that's why it's a medium difficulty set circular arrangement is exactly medium difficulty both i feel are cat difficulty sets these were slightly easier than cat so overall i felt this was also on the easier side this is something where you should have actually scored well the last section that i will discuss is the vrc section this was i also i felt at actual cat difficulty level if you had this in your slot your marks would neither be scaled up nor would be scaled down this i felt was the median section as such uh, the informative rc which was on economic schools was easy uh, it was an easy read it was an engaging read and the author essentially took pains to explain so when the author takes a lot of pain to explain he makes the job of the reader easier so that is why it was i felt easy because it was an easy to read easy to understand the author took all the effort to explain to you that this is this is this this he gave examples he gave like uh, uh, he uh, to help you understand he gave metaphors also so when he is doing all the heavy lifting your job becomes easier so that is why i felt this was on the uh, whole a easy set to solve the philosophy set which is basically philosophical progress set was a hard set firstly because it was not an easy read so it the author is discussing a thorny topic which is generally philosophy is not easy to read as such secondly the set is an analytical set the analytical set which was on philosophical progress i felt was a harder one firstly because it was not an easy read the author's language was slightly tedious to read and secondly much more importantly because it was an analytical rc it required you to think it required you to understand it it required you to do a lot of mental work before you actually could answer the questions so that is why this set was on the harder set if i was somebody who was going to leave any set of the four i would have left this set the analytical rc which is like a parallels drawn between does being a doctor help you write and does writing help you be, be a better doctor that rc, uh, rc again it was an analytical rc not purely analytical because the author is not going that deep into arguments but essentially i still feel that he was analyzing different positions as such so it was slightly not a typical informative rc as such i felt this was moderate difficulty level because the topic itself was not very difficult and the author was also not going too deep in his argument so he was also it's easily understandable and answers are questions are also not that difficult to understand or answer the scientific rc again was the easy moderate rc so generally when you have the informative rcs they are on the easier side scientific rcs are on the easier side because it is difficult to ask tricky questions on them because the question information is right there it is not very difficult to like make tricky questions on them so the only tricky questions that you can actually make in informative rcs or RC, uh, scientific rcs is basically the option is distorted slightly distorted it is difficult to spot the distortion or something like that but generally these are not the ones where you will actually trap all the uh, uh, like the aspirants will find it difficult the part which most aspirants will find difficult are the analytical rcs so these were on the tougher side these two were on the easier side i felt overall the va part was on the easier side so i would say not easy easy because the pa para jumbles again were of medium difficulty the para summary one was of medium difficulty two were easy the para insertion or para completion questions were of medium difficulty so overall it was not a uh, easy uh, part of the section as such but on the easier side so overall even this particular va section was on the easier side so quant was on the easier side lrdi was on the easier side verbal was on the easier side vrc was on the easier side so throughout dash cat 3 was on the easier side this is the kind of uh, dash cat that you should expect in cat and you should expect to score well in that as such so i hope you did well wherever you feel that you did below expectations or below your potential try to analyze why that happened essentially now that i have explained that what should have been done what should have been an ideal uh, op strategy of attempt just see whether your strategy of attempt went wrong see whether you are uh, with quant it is very important to see that did you actually not know certain formula could you have uh, done the uh, work mentally or faster in some way so all of these things are important to analyze especially in easy mocks those are the areas that you should analyze because in difficult mocks there is a lot of information where you have to say okay i didn't know this i didn't know that in easy mocks basically you have to understand why you didn't do as well as your peer so you will be doing well but why didn't you do as well as the others did so there you kind of expose the uh gaps in performance where things are going well also there are gaps in performance so you have to understand 
did i not do this fast enough did i not know these formulas did i not know these shortcuts so how what can i do to actually make it faster so this is what you need to analyze with this mock so now that you know please tune in for dashcat 4